I'm going to walk you through today my process of how I actually plan for vacations and taking time off as an online service provider when you obviously are seeing clients and how you can actually keep your business running as much as humanly possible while actually fully taking time off and fully being able to take time away from your business without really impacting anything. I last year took almost a full three weeks off from my online business where I did nothing, literally nothing other than three hours of calls a week. So this was a very, very minimal time and I was completely off during the rest of this. And the really amazing thing was nothing in my business pulled. All the content kept going out, all the emails kept going out, sales kept happening. I didn't have to slow down or stop anything in my business. Everything kept running as normal and I was doing three hours of work every single week and absolute maximum while I was on vacation as well. So here is how I actually planned for making this trip. Really simple, really easy and actually you made this happen in the first place while having everything still going out and still running as normal. First thing I did was I really sat down and organized the tasks in my business. So I separated out what I needed to do each week in my business into what are one-time tasks. So what are things that are projects? They get done once, they're ticked off the list, they never appear on the list again. This would be update this website page, create this sales page, those types of things. Reoccurring daily tasks. So these are reoccurring things. So once they're ticked off the to-do list, they will be back on at some point. They're not a done and then they're completely done for life but they're daily things so they are for example post content on stories that will be a thing tomorrow as well they are client messages which will also be a thing tomorrow as well even if i've completed today and then also the third category reoccurring batching things so these are things which they are reoccurring they're happening regularly but i can batch them ahead of time so things like instagram content i can do my content right now for next month and batch it fully ahead of time so i don't need to do anything next month as well and this is really important this distinction of these categories because this is how you can really determine when you're wanting to go on vacation how to really plan that work out beforehand so nothing is being missed so those are the three categories firstly that you want to put everything into Now, what you want to do with these categories then, firstly, taking the one-time project categories, I moved them to either side of the trip. So we didn't put any, obviously, while we were going on the trip. I moved everything to ahead of time if I needed to do it before, or I moved it to after the trip as well. So I was really able to schedule things out and firstly, just remove all these big project things. Then I focused on really the reoccurring batching tasks because this is really the key often that can save you and actually mean that you can have a full vacation and also everything still goes out as normal. And I scheduled out the full month of, you know, before this trip to actually make sure I was able to get all of this type of work done. So the batching work. So the emails I was sending out to my list, the content going out on Instagram, those types of things. I scheduled this all out the month before and I fully went ahead and just created all these, scheduled out the posts, everything was going out. So that as soon as I was going on vacation, all the content was still going out. I didn't need to do a single thing, didn't need to touch anything. And also another hack here, I scheduled for the week after getting back as well, because I think the hardest thing sometimes can be going on vacation and you have to hit the ground really running essentially when you get back because the day after vacation, you have nothing scheduled and you need to get straight back into it and you're almost behind on everything. So to make sure I wasn't hit with a ton of work when I came back, I made sure as well I scheduled for the week after too. And then all that is left with your tasks, the only category we haven't talked about yet is the daily reoccurring tasks. This was the only thing I did while on vacation. So this kept it super simple, which meant it was just client messages, client calls, showing up on stories a few times. It was the really simple things. And these are the only things that can't be done ahead of time. So if you can just figure out what these things are, these are the only things that need to be done while you're on vacation. And again, if you're wanting a full vacation, you can just figure out, okay, how can I either eliminate these things, minimize these things as much as possible, um, or just move these things differently around to make the vacation easier and simpler, etc. And um, But really, these are the only things that can't be done ahead of time. So everything else was done ahead of time. And these were then the only things I needed to focus on while I was on vacation to mean that my business was still fully running as normal. Not a single thing was missed. Nothing was behind, but I was still able to fully show up properly and also have a vacation at the same time. So that is how I plan for vacations as an online service provider. That's how I took a three week vacation. Nothing was missed in my business and I just worked a maximum of three hours a week as well at the same time. If you found this helpful, give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe as well for daily videos on how to grow as a service provider, how to get more clients, how to make more sales and how to grow your business online on social media. And in that note, I will see you in the next video, video, I can't speak, I will see you in the next daily video tomorrow where we will be talking more about these types of topics.